When Paramount announced that they were working on a movie version of Sega's iconic Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, fans were cautiously optimistic. But after the trailer was released in early 2019, uh... this realistic hedgehog-like take on Sonic went viral as fans took to social media to roast the design. Here are all the changes they made to the classic character in the new trailer. The most noticeable difference between their first and second take is Sonic's eyes. Much like Sega's design, Sonic's eyes are much bigger in the new version. In the old one, his eyes were shrunken to make them more anatomically similar to an actual hedgehog. This is still slightly different from Sega's version of Sonic, which technically has just one big eyeball with two separate pupils, as you can see here. Paramount's new design fades Sonic's blue fur into his tan mouth for a slightly more realistic depiction. His eyebrows are also much more defined, allowing him to show a wider range of emotions. The new version's facial features are also more similar to Sega's design, with his cartoonish nose, mouth, and teeth. Paramount's first take gave Sonic wide nostrils and a nose that blended in with his snout. This new one sticks out more like Sega's design. His disturbing, human-like teeth are now hidden beneath his upper lip. They made his mouth more animated, so it can shift to the side instead of being anchored down to the front. What really freaked fans out about Paramount's first take was that they gave him joints and muscles, like knees, elbows, and calves. The Sonic we know from cartoons and video games doesn't have a defined bone structure. The new take swaps out Sonic's muscles and joints for the more cartoon-like spaghetti arms and legs. His torso is also more defined and separated from his limbs, instead of looking like a child in a Sonic the Hedgehog onesie. There's more of a triangular shape to the torso, with broad shoulders that narrow towards his waist. Sonic's fur is now a more vibrant blue, and his belly went from white to tan to match Sega's original design. One thing Paramount didn't change was the color of Sonic's arms. In Sega's design, his arms are the same color as his mouth and belly, tan. Paramount made his arms blue in their first take, and they kept them blue for their second. In keeping with their desire for a realistic Sonic, their first take had a lot more noticeable fur on him. The new take still has fur, but his body seems smoother to reflect how he looks in Sega's design. And the spikes on his head and back are much sharper as a result, and more closely resemble the Sega version. Paramount's new Sonic isn't just anatomically similar to Sega's design, it also features Sonic's white gloves instead of just white fur, much bigger socks, and a much more accurate depiction of his iconic red shoes, all the while still managing to make them look like a modern pair of sneakers. Overall, Paramount presented us with a design that looks much more like Sega's cartoony version of Sonic, while still maintaining some of the realistic fur and texture of their first take. And so far, fans seem to be happy with the changes. Are you happy with the new version of Sonic? Let us know in the comments below.